Hello everyone, and welcome back to RC Auto Electric. Today, we're disassembling an alternator from a Toyota Camry 2010 to 2011 four-cylinder model. This alternator is a Denso unit, very common and very reliable. But like all alternators, it wears out over time. So let's break it down step by step. Step one, removing the rectifier cover. First, remove the three nuts, holding the rectifier cover in place. Once those are off, lift the cover and set it aside. This gives us access to the rectifier, voltage regulator, and brush holder assembly. Step two, removing the rectifier and brush holder assembly. Now, remove the screws holding down the rectifier and then the screws for the brush holder assembly. Pro tip, for long-term reliability, I always recommend replacing both the rectifier and the voltage regulator, along with new bearings and a brush holder assembly. That way, you're not just fixing one weak point, you're rebuilding the alternator for the long haul. Replacement parts and rebuild kits are available on our online store. From standard alternator replacement kits to performance upgrade rebuild kits, including rectifiers, stators, and rotors, we carry a wide range of parts in stock. We cover all years and models, all available through our online store. Once the brush holder is free, set it aside. This part wears out often, so replacing it during a rebuild is always a smart move. Step three, disconnecting the rectifier leads. Next, we need to separate the rectifier leads that connect to the stator. Sometimes you'll need to desolder them, but in this case, cutting them with a pair of wire cutters is the cleanest option. Pro tip, for long-term reliability, I always recommend replacing both the rectifier and the voltage regulator, along with new bearings. That way, you're not just fixing one weak point, you're rebuilding the alternator for the long haul. Step four, removing the rectifier. Once the stator leads are cut, use a flathead screwdriver to carefully spread the rectifier legs apart so the unit comes off clean. If needed, use pliers to gently work the voltage regulator free from the rectifier.
for long-term reliability, it's always best to replace the rectifier, voltage regulator, bearings, brush holder assembly, and, if needed, the slip ring. That way, you're not just fixing one weak point, you're fully restoring the alternator for dependable performance. High amp upgrades are also available for rectifiers, stators, and rotors. You'll find all of these parts, along with complete rebuild kits, in our online store, where we carry a wide selection in stock for all years and models. Step five, separating the housings. Now we'll remove the four through bolts that connect the slip ring end, housing, and the drive end housing. Once those bolts are out, the unit is ready to come apart. Step six, removing the pulley. Next, snap off the alternator clutch pulley cap. With the clutch pulley tool, remove the pulley itself. Sometimes this takes a little finesse. Hold the pulley firmly with one hand while you work the tool with the other. Step seven, splitting the housings. Take your time as you separate the hosing. Take your time. Every alternator comes apart a little differently, depending on wear and tear. Don't rush and don't force anything. You want to preserve as many OEM parts as possible. If it's stubborn, little WD-40 can help loosen things up. Step eight, removing the rotor. Here, the stator has come free from the drive end housing, leaving the rotor stuck in the slip ring end housing. To separate them, I'm using a press with a small bolt to carefully push the rotor out without damaging the housing. Step nine, removing the drive end bearing. Now let's take out the bearing retainer that holds the drive end bearing in place.
Once that's removed, use a press again to push the bearing out of the housing. Always support the housing properly while pressing so you don't crack the aluminum. And just like that, the alternator is fully disassembled and ready for prep. From here, we'll inspect every component and replace what's worn, rectifier, voltage regulator, bearings, brush holder assembly, and slip ring if needed, before rebuilding it into a dependable, long-lasting unit. For replacements, we carry direct fit units for all years and models, as well as upgrade parts, including high amp rectifiers, stators, and rotors. All available through our online store with wide availability in stock. Thanks for watching RC Auto Electric, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more alternator and starter rebuild content.